Okay, we're going to use this video to give you an up-close look at this magnificent uh, five-foot antique Black Forest Hunter Cuckoo Clock. Now, this is a monumental clock. It's uh, a five-foot example. And all the carvings are done in walnut. It's a European walnut. It has a beautiful, rich, medium light brown honey color. And you can see the detail is exquisite, starting with the large uh, four-leaf stag at the pediment. The hunting rifles are crossed over his head. The pediment's further decorated with oak leaves. You have a large uh, single cuckoo door here. Clock retains its original plump uh, wood cuckoo bird. Uh, it has uh, movable wings and beak. Hunter's horn encircles the dial. Bone hands. The hands are carved from bone. To the left of the dial, you have this life-size hair uh, that's strung up by his leg. You can see the detail work in his face. It is just exquisite. He looks real. The rope that actually ties around his foot and loops over this stump here. You have the hunter's tassel under the horn, the strap, uh, the hunter's game bag below the dial with the two uh, quail also strung up. You can see the rope around their neck. To the left you have a life-size pheasant. You can also see the work here where the, the foot is roped uh, around that stump. The wings are fully dished. Just really exquisite carving on this clock. Uh, this is an earlier example uh, from the late 19th century. It has a robust key wine movement with an eight day running duration. And it has a nice cuckoo sound. We'll set it off and you can hear it in action. And the full hour. The, uh, this clock does not have weights and said it's wound by a key. So no weights, no chains, which allows this clock to be hung in uh, many different locations above a fireplace mantle, for example, where the descents of the weights uh, would interfere with the mantle itself. Uh, with this clock here, uh, that wouldn't be a problem. We specialize in the uh, restoration, acquisition, and sale of monumental antique Black Forest clocks. If you're looking to add a clock like this to your collection, or if you have a piece like this in any condition you're interested in selling, uh, you can contact me by email, which is justin at blackforestclocks.org. Uh, we also encourage you to visit our website, uh, which is blackforestclocks.org.